Hello, everybody. I wanted to share with you the completed journal that I've just finished uh, working on that I made for a friend of mine. And the cute little tassels. <laughs> Um, it took me a long time to do this for some reason or other. Um, I started working on it before Christmas and I just now finished it and will be gifting it to my friend shortly. But anyway, this is the cover. What I did was I took an old book and I basically altered it. Um, I tore all the pages out of it. I took the cover off and um, I made my own cover and decorations and everything. So this is a completely altered book that's been turned into a, a junk journal, um, a Bible journal. You know, you can put whatever you want in it. I've kind of gotten some stuff started here to give some inspiration maybe. But anyway, here we go. So this is the cover. And... We open it up. Once again, I am recording this as I'm trying to <laughs> trying to show you what's in the book. And so this is the inside cover. Okay. And this is one of the first pages. I pretty much made all the pages in the book. Uh, some of them I left blank so that this person can put whatever they'd like in here. Okay, so here's another little page with a card that kind of flips up. And then we just have some nice little Bible sayings and stuff. A blank page that you can put whatever you'd like on. Some writing, you can journal, you can put pictures staple things in here, glue things in here. And here's a page that I just decorated basically to decorate it with another nice little saying. And the pages are just different pieces of scrap or loose leaf paper that I have from different projects or from notebooks or whatever that I wasn't using but I can use in journals. I like making junk journals or Bible journals, whatever. I know it's a dichotomy to call a Bible journal a junk journal, but anyway. <laughs> um, this is just a piece of coffee stained paper that you can write on or glue papers or pictures or whatever. That's the other side. Excuse my messy desk. I wanted to just get this recorded. I finally finished this book. It took me, <laughs> since before Christmas, I started working on it. But you know, life sometimes gets in the way. So basically, these are just pages in the book. Many of them are blank so that the person that I'm gifting this to can do whatever she'd like with it. Kind of cool. And then this is the first signature. And so the signature is sewn in with just basic, you know, twine, thread, whatever. And some little baubles and charms at the end. So you could use it as a bookmarker if you wanted to. And then some more blank pages. I know, pretty boring, huh? Let me see if I can adjust my camera a little better here. This is just a napkin that's been decoupaged onto a piece of paper, the date. This is the kind of page that I like to glue stuff to tickets or pictures or some ephemera, memorabilia, what have you. Junk. 
or notations. I mean, you know, it's just kind of fun to have books like this that you can stick anything into that you want. So here's a page that I created a little tag for. See? It's cute. The little tag just goes right back in here. And over here on the other side is another little tag. Actually, it's two tags. So you can put stuff on there if you want to or make little notations, whatever. Here's another card, card stock with a pretty bird on it. You can just flip that up. And that's the rest of the saying from the page that I showed before. And here's a little postcard that's been washi taped into here so it holds it because it wanted to keep sliding out from its little belly band there. It's a little belly band that goes around the page. And then on the other side is a, just a blank piece of paper. Notations, whatever you want to do. This is a page that I just put some splatter on because, I don't know, I thought it looked cool. Another nice little saying from Luke. And this is a paper that I just sprayed with some of my own dyes that I make out of food coloring and water. And I just spray it and give it a little color on a piece of blank paper. The other side is kind of wrinkly and crinkly. That's okay. That's what makes junk journals fun. Is the paper can be any kind of paper you like doesn't matter and it doesn't even have to be paper you can use all kinds of stuff in these things that's what makes them fun and I ended up putting two signatures in this book I probably could have fit three but it ended up being pretty thick Some lace on the back of the paper. It's more of this kind of paper that I got from a head that my husband used to use for his work, for insurance company work, field reports, whatever. So it's primarily a book that a person can fill up with whatever they like. You know what I mean? Just have fun. I enjoy making them. It usually doesn't take me six months to make one. <laughs> but this one did because stuff kept happening and then whatever, you know what I mean? It's just life. I actually planned on gifting this to my friend quite a few months ago. But anyway, there's another little tag. It's just a piece of um, lace holding it in there and it's got another saying on it just some more blank paper I know exciting huh and then another washi taped postcard in the back this belly band is holding it a little bit tighter than the other one was. Oops. Washi tape is not being as sticky as it should. And here's the back cover. And there's the very back of the book. And the closures are just some pieces of lace that I put in. Pretty simple. I just put a nice little bead on there to hold it down. And there you have it.
another junk journal in the books. Ha ha ha. Pun intended. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.